What's up you guys? Welcome back to my channel. Ang pag-uusapan natin ngayon is all about mga gastos. Magkano bang kailangan mong i-prepare para makapunta ka dito sa Ireland? Alam ko this is something that a lot of you guys are thinking right now. Sa mga previous videos, tinakil natin kung paano ba yung processing, kung mga, yung mga requirements na kailangan mo para makapunta ka dito. And also, yung salary. Diba? Yan yung mga deciding factors natin. And of course, Considering those things, kailangan din natin isipin, magkano ba? Sapat ba yung savings mo? Kaya ba yung gastos? Yung mga ganong bagay. I know guys that that is something that we really need to consider. Okay? Don't you worry guys. I am here to share with you kung magkano yung nagastos ko from the start till I got here. Okay? So, if you are interested to this video, just stay tuned. And please don't forget to subscribe, to like this video, and also to share. So, ito na nga. So, Magkano nga ba? Magkano nga ba gastos? So let's begin. Kung matatandaan nyo sa previous video, pinag-usapan natin that your key to coming here to Ireland is your IELTS or your OET. So in my case, I took the IELTS. So magkano nga ba ang IELTS? Ang IELTS, I took it in Saudi Arabia. So it cost me um, 1,070 Saudi Riyals. That is amounting to 13,910. So the conversion rate I used for this video is 13 pesos is to one Saudi Riyal. Number two, an NMBI application fee. Makano bang NMBI application fee? That is 350 euro and that is amounting to 19,250 pesos. So the conversion factor for euro, I use 55 for the sake of this video. So I filled out the application form and then and then I send it back to NMBI. So I use the courier. Uh, at that time, if I'm not mistaken, I started with um, FedEx, and that cost me around 402 Saudi riyals, and that's 5,226. And then after which I received the application pack. So the application pack, as we discussed in the last video. There's section 1 and then section 2. So section 1, I filled out that form and then sent it back to them. And from this time, I used SAMSA. That's S-A, that's S-M-S-A. Courier din just in Saudi Arabia na mas mura. So that cost me around 200 SAR only. And that is 2,600. Okay? And once I already submitted the section 1, I started processing the section 2 of the NMBI. So number one, PRC verification. So sa PRC ver verification, mura lang naman siya actually. So you just need to go to PRC in Morita. That will just cost you 75 pesos per copy. Okay, so roughly, I, uh, including the documentary stamp. So that cost me around 200 pesos. And of course, the courier, syempre kailangan ipadala ng PRC yun sa NMBI. So I availed the DHL as well. So that cost me 2,500. Okay, next is the Saudi Council verification. So Saudi Council, man, as I mentioned before, I just downloaded the good standing and that cost me around 300 SAR and that is amounting to 3,900 pesos. Then sa school naman tayo, so sa FEU verification, well, in here actually I cannot remember how much it was really, but approximately around 3,000 pesos, do lang yun sa TOR processing. Iba pa yun sa career. So DHL din ginamit nila. So another 2,500. So sa so government papers guys, kailangan yung mga certified true copies. Okay? So I processed the birth certificate certified true copy back home. So that cost me around 500 pesos. Care of my mom. <laughs> and the certified true copies of my passport and also my marriage contract. To tell you frankly guys, mas mahal mag process ng mga papers sa uh, labas ng bansa. So I communicated with the consulate in Jeddah about this. Every authentication, kung tawage, uh, a minimum amount is 100 SAR. So that's roughly about 1,300 per transaction. So next is the police clearances. So police clearances, kailangan mo to in every country you worked in or in every country you lived in. So NMBI clearance is very, fairly cheap, 200 pesos only. And then for the Saudi, Police clearance. So this cost me around 250 SAR, and that's roughly about 3,000, uh, 3,250. So ito kasi ang police clearance. So ganun din, magpupunta ka sa consulate to request for for a police clearance, and then they will give you a recommendation letter 
and then you will go to the police station and then from the police station you have to go to the Ministry of Foreign Affairs and then from there you have to go back to the consulate of Jeddah okay that's what I did now so once everything is done kapag okay ka na and you have the decision letter doon ka na process ng ibang mga papeles for you to get here so number one is the medical okay so medical magkano ba so sa Pilipinas I went to Physicians Diagnostic. It's not so Manila lang yon. So that cost me around 6,000 pesos. And also, sa Saudi, before coming home, I had some vaccines kasi kailangan yon as part of the requirements of the agency. And that is the MMR and varicella vaccine that cost me around 260 SAR. And in total, that is around 9,380. Okay? For the medical. Next is the ATWS. ATWS stands for a typical work, working scheme. So this is basically your working visa for you to get inside of Ireland. So you have to pay 250 euro and that is 13,750, okay? Next, visa stamping. So you don't visa stamping, you have to pay this sa Consulate of Ireland sa Pilipinas. So magkano ba yun? That is 5,000 pesos, all right? And then PIDOS. So, pre-departure, orientation, orientation, basta pidos. Okay. So, pidos, mura lang naman siya, 100 pesos lang. And you have to pay it there as well. Next, government expenses. So, kailangan, mayroon kayong mga pag ibig contributions. So, minimum lang naman ang kailangan. 3 months, and then per month is 300 pesos. So, that will just cost you uh, 900 pesos. Okay? And, of course, they're requiring for field help. So, sa field help, initially, that was... 2,400. Pero biglang nagbago, di ba? Na naging main issue yan and then vinito yan ng, ng, ng presidente natin and we're back to 2,400. At ginawa nilang voluntary na lang yung premium kung tawagin. But anyhow, it's 2,400. And this is very helpful guys, how you feel help, especially if you have family back home kasi yung mga dependent na isusulat nyo doon, they will benefit on this as well. So once everything is done, once you have the visa already and you are very ready to fly here in Ireland, okay lang mo na flight ticket. Okay, so a flight ticket, magkano ba ang flight ticket? In my case, it's paid by the hospital. Okay, and I only paid the difference. Ang kinokover ng hospital namin dito was 700 euro. So we only paid 9,200 pesos. So wali excess siya nung, nung coverage. So yun lang ginastos ko, 9,200 pesos. But to give you an idea, the flight ticket is around 50,000 plus, one way, okay? Next, yung mga photos and miscellaneous. Siyempre ito, uh, ni rough estimate ko na lang to. Kasi along the process, kailangan mo talaga ng mga passport size pictures. And this should be latest for at least 6 months, okay? So mga printouts din, mga papeles mo or anything. And also mga fares, mga gases mo, kung may kotse ka, yung mga panggas. So I just put it here around 5,000 pesos. And once you are here, guys, kailangan mo naman yung initial accommodation. So initial accommodation, ito sa Ireland, medyo may kamahalan. It's ranging. If you're bed sharing, it's ranging around 400 to 800 euro for one bed space lang yan, guys. Ha? So in my case, I had 600 euro. So initial accommodation guys, ano naman to, inayos naman to ng, ng company namin. So okay lang din. And then afterwards, I moved out and look for a cheaper one. So 600 euro, that's 33,000 pesos. And the pocket money, magkano ka bang pocket money ko? Hmm, sapat pa yun? Okay, so ang pocket money ko guys, I just prepared for 600 euro. So that's 33,000. Because I was thinking, I'll be staying here for a month. Shankly, afternoon, may swell the parin. It's fairly enough, guys. All right? And once you're finished with your adaptation here in Ireland, so you will pay for the NMBI registration, and that is 145 euro or around 700, I don't know, around 7,700. Okay? So, let's sum it up. Magkano pa lahat ng gasas ko? So roughly about 180,000. Okay, number. Okay, number. 
Actually, it's fair enough, guys. Kasi hindi ko naman to binayaran at once. It's like staggered. Depende yan sa mga requirements na kailangan ng i-provide. You know what I mean? I started the process on August 2018. And then, nakalis ako ng Saudi Arabia August of 2019. So, it's a long process. Okay? Don't you worry, guys. You 180,000, yun yung total na gastos mo. But, let me just tell you this. Kapag nandito ko na sa Ireland, kapag sinwerte ka at makahanap ng magandang hospital, some of these amounts will be reimbursed, okay? For the accommodation, NBI, ATWS, and also the visa. So, yun, yung apat na yun, ni reimbursed ng hospital namin, which is really good. Yeah? Alright, that's about it, guys. I hope that I'm able to share with you about the expenses, especially the processing from the start till you get here. And uh, I hope you like this video and care to share, okay? And of course, click the subscribe button. And by the way, before anything else, I am very thankful and grateful to you guys for those who subscribed to my channel, for those comments and DMs. I really appreciated those. And uh, I hope you can spread the good news, guys. All right, that's about it, guys. Be faithful. Keep the faith, guys. Laban lang tayo. See you in my next video. Bye for now.